How was all Liverpool SKT? The moment we got rice, I really? was 90% sure already. Um, but then, you know, Faker is Faker. But I, like, you just look at the game and you realize G2 will, you know, not let SKT, let Teddy get activated, you know? And we saw that today and I'm very happy. And I think the definitive moment was um, when they were like 5k ahead in like 16 minutes or something. So what was it about Rise that made you feel like that G2 was gonna yeah. take it? I mean, Rise for me was kind of the insurance in things do in case things do go south in the early game. Uh, and in Caps's hands or in Wunda's hands, it doesn't really matter honestly. Uh, it's just a phenomenal pick, and um, yeah, that was just. At, at the moment we had Dra Jace and Rice, it was just that okay, this 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 has to go well, otherwise we would run into trouble very early on. Another huge tool to use in this team fight. Perks takes a big chunk of damage, sticks around. There goes the bomb. Manages to get dodged by the Feather Storm. SKT looking for the re-engage. Abscond of Duck used their onto Wonder. Defensive move away from Caps. The Hourglass goes down. Perks takes out Clint. That's the first for G2. The Cocoon of the back end. That secures the kill to Teddy. Now Faker needs to do it all. He's forced to run away. Uses that cleanse. Still holds onto the flash. It's two quick kills for Europe the SKT lineup and now they break the base. The base is open wide. The inhibitor will fall shortly. 15 seconds for Khan. Are they going for it? For Faker. G2 Esports are teleporting into the base. They're looking for the Nexus turrets with the Baron empowered minions. Nexus turret number one falls. Nexus turret number two is being focused. That's Martin down. Teddy flashes away. That's not over yet. The Nexus turret falls. Ladies and gentlemen watching MSI, do you believe G2 obliterate SKT? That was one of the cleanest G2 games that European fans will have seen. A one-sided dominant performance, perfect execution, only one or two mistakes the whole game, and SKT, they had no answers. Welcome back to the international stage, SK Telecom T1. Europe's G2 Esports. I'm Adele, and I write for a number of publications at the moment. And an LCX. Right? And in the LEC for six years now. Okay. Who beating SKT? Oh, greatest moment ever. What do you think that G2 did in order to beat SKT? Uh, I think G2, to be honest, really played to the strengths of their composition. Like, they got their power spikes and then just straight up pushed for objectives. SKT needed to scale, but they didn't have the time. So, like, the people, the common criticism that people have about the LCK is they play too slow. Like, you know, they are, like, too vision reliant. And do you think that that was the reflective on how SKT performed? Uh, I don't know, but I think that their composition needed time to ramp up, so maybe you could read that from that. But too early to tell. In my oh, I don't know. Um, there was a big of an up there was an extreme upset, but like SKT tried to play their slow LCK game, and she just steamed over them and. We are only glad that this is the beginning of the group stages and hope that SKT can adapt to other teams such as LEC or even the IG.